calculation part, all right? A block of aluminum of mass 670 grams is heated at a constant rate of 95 watts for 6 minutes. The specific heat capacity is 910 joule per kilogram per Kelvin. The initial temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. Assuming no thermal energy is lost, so that the final temperature of the block is 80 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, Q is equal to MC delta theta, right? Isn't it? Q is equal, actually power times time. So, is equal to MC delta theta. Alright. So, power is 95 watts. Time is 6 minutes. 6 minutes is actually 6 times 60 seconds. So, we just multiply a 60 there. Is equal to M it is 670 grams but it's over a kilogram so you have to put down 0 0.67 Whoa. let me just grab my calculator we'll get this job done okay and the C is 910 and the Delta theta is something we don't know Delta theta is equal to 95 into 6 into 60 uses 34200 34200 and 0.67 into 910 uses 609.7 The delta theta is 56.1 degrees or you can just put 56 degrees to two significant figures. So, final temperature is equal to 24 plus 56 is equal to 80 degrees Celsius. Okay. In practice, there are energy losses to the surroundings. The actual variation its time t for the temperature theta of the block is shown in figure 1.1. Using the information in 1 to draw on figure 1.1 a line to represent the temperature of the block assuming there are no energy losses to the surroundings okay so we need to draw a straight line right so using that we assume that there are no energy losses so for this uh, obviously I'd need a ruler so you so it starts at 24 and is 80 degrees Celsius six minutes later. Okay, so just draw a straight line. So initially, as you can see, it is tangential. So you can see this is the curve. And this is the line so you can see initially it's tangential which means there's no initial heat loss but the heat loss comes in later okay using the information in one to draw okay using figure 1.1 calculate the total energy losses to the surroundings during the heating process now what should we do right Okay, using the others to use figure 1.1 to do something, right? What is that? All right, so the first thing you have to say is you want the total heat loss, right? So initially, you can so in the end, you can see it's actually 64 degrees Celsius, isn't it? So you have to calculate Q loss is equal to. M C delta theta, which is 0.67 into 910 into 64 minus 24, which it gives you 40. So we just do a quick multiplication: 0.67 into 910 into 40 gives you 24,388. We just put it as 24,002 SF. Okay, and then heat loss. Is equal to here we've seen it as 34,200 is the energy supplied by the heater minus 24,000 
after a quick subtraction, we get to know that it is 9,800 joules. And that's your answer. So that was all for question 10. Was that all? Yeah, that was all for question 1. Not question 10, sorry. And the next one is a simple harmonic motion. We are just going to do it in the next video.